It's time for Eyewitness Sports. As you might imagine, of all the teams in the North Division, the first place Utica Comets are closest to clinching a playoff spot. But it stands right now that all seven division rivals are still in the hunt for those spots. The Comets say they know they're good, but here in the last month and a half of the season, every game is going to be a tough one. I think our talent is very evident right from the start. Um, you know, so if you have the skill and you're going to put the work in, you're going to be successful for the most part. Obviously, teams are getting better too. You know, veteran teams are trying to figure out themselves too, so they're going to get better. And we play teams a lot, so they start to figure out us out a little bit. So uh, sometimes you just get unlucky. It's pretty mucky down uh, in in the next level of uh, battle for playoff positioning, and uh, we've done a lot of hard work to put ourselves. Uh, to separate ourselves from that right now and uh, I think the message we try to get across is every game is uh, going to have some importance to it and uh, uh, we know we'll have to be ready every single night. We come to back at it tomorrow against the Toronto Marlies, the third place team in the North Division. And this week the Comets are wearing special black jerseys for the Save of the Day Foundation. You can buy raffle tickets for the jerseys which will be auctioned off after Saturday's game and also you can bring cash donations to the Foundation at this week's Comets games as well. And in college ice hockey, Syracuse women's ice hockey falls in the NCAA Division I first round tonight. They played Quinnipiac this evening, the team that Clinton graduate Mia Lapata is on. If both Quinnipiac and Colgate now win their quarterfinal games, it sets up a rematch between the two teams of the ECAC semifinals, which the Raiders had won. In Division I men's basketball tonight, Syracuse lost in the ACC quarterfinals. The Orange had a four point lead at halftime. Buddy Beheim did not play in the game after he was suspended for a game after punching an opponent in yesterday's contest. And in high school basketball, West Canada Valley boys are preparing for the Class A state regionals. The players say it still doesn't feel real that they've actually accomplished their goal of winning a section title, but now they have more work ahead of them. And they say they're driven by the desire to play for each other and make the community proud. That's even bigger than what you dream about when you're just a sectional title. It's just but you got to think about it as just another game and can't let it get emotions get the best of you or anything like that. I think we all just we love the game of basketball and we want to we, we want to make the school proud and we want to make our area proud. Uh, we've always dreamed about since we were little all of us we wanted to do like something like this. Got to stay together and just have fun. It's the most important part. We play our best when we're having fun. At least with our school we haven't won since 2010 so it's good to be the, with the group that did that and you know, it's just fun to keep playing, so that's obviously what we want. The team's going to beat us as us. So, and our third togetherness is what's carried us through the whole year. So at this point, it's really just their resilience and their mindset of, hey, we have each other's back. Tip-off against Section 4 champion Newfield is Saturday, 1.45 p.m. at Liverpool High School. And baseball is back. Major League Baseball and its Players Association have reached a deal after 99 days. The regular season is set to begin April 7th, and there will be a full 162-game season. So for now, that's all for sports, but go check out cnyhomepage.com for all your top sports stories. And as always, there's more eyewitness news after the break. Stay friendly and stay safe.